excited to get set up. Yes, me too. It is so nice and cool out here, probably high 50s. Okay, so we had an issue with this tree and our awning. So we're gonna try something a little different so we can try to come back as far as we want, but still use our awning with that tree. Well, I just, I was saying to them that we decided to move over because of this tree and well, our awning. We it, talked about this in a previous setup video. You always need to look at everything before you unhook. So make sure that- Wow. Well, so, same. So, I'm just going to turn these off. Always be sure that you're going to clear your awning, but you also need to make sure that the utility over here is going to clear the slide out. Yeah, so that's another. So this is going to be, a, the water is going to be a little close to the slide. But you could still come up a little bit, come back a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I think it's perfect. We have officially made it back to one of our favorite state park campgrounds, Bolshoals White River State Park, and we are all set up. We have the Kodiak ready to go. We have our outdoor cook station ready to go. Abby's over there enjoying it. She's over there drawing right now. She's coloring. <laughs> <laughs> this is really beautiful. Right across there, that's the White River. You can hear one of the boats, one of the trout boats getting ready to go by. Just can't quite see them. We love this place. It really is such a beautiful park. Look at those trees there. I hope the fishing's good. I do too. I do too. We're, we've got a couple of days. We're going to be doing some trout fishing uh, Tuesday and Thursday. And I'm glad we decided not to go Wednesday because it's looking like it's going to be raining probably most of the day Wednesday. So we're going to have a down day. That's also changing our barbecue plans. So I was planning on doing the um, the rib barbecue tomorrow and since and I was going to do the prime rib on Wednesday but since the rain is going to be here all day Wednesday I went ahead and moved it up we're going to do the prime rib tomorrow and I uh, have that big barbecue tomorrow and then Wednesday if it's a complete wash I'm not going to be barbecuing because I don't want to be out here in the rain we're just going to go down to Gaston's to the um, they got the big um, restaurant down there we'll probably just eat there Wednesday if it's raining real bad but anyway, let me give you a little shot of the setup here. So I like my little, I got my little outdoor kitchen going here. That's actually our area back here with the picnic table, fire pit and barbecue pit. And we have that little section there too as well. This is considered the uh, handicap accessible site. So you've got the sidewalk right here and then that's the uh, bathhouse and restrooms right there. So that's, uh, I mean, but this was, a, this was what was available when we booked. And it was the best site that I could find that was close to the river. All of these sites over here on the riverside are uh, fully booked up, so we couldn't get over there. So anyway, here's the uh, outdoor cooking setup. So we have got the uh, full-size pit barrel with us. This is the original size, so it's the bigger one than what you typically see me use. I wanted to have the bigger size for more uh, meat for the big barbecue. So we're going to be using that. we got my lodge uh, camp stove right here, or... Uh, camp table should I say the little Weber we're gonna use that tonight for some burgers and we have our camp chef two burner gas stove over here that I use for lighting charcoal and doing other cooks right here so this is gonna be uh, a real nice spot to be doing some cooking with a very beautiful view there 
of the White River. So it's going to be a good week. We're really excited. We're so I happy to be back here. This place. It's almost like I can't believe we're finally here again. I know. It was exactly a year ago when we came and did this. And uh, she was saying at the front, you can book a year out. They, exactly they one year. Exactly one year. And so I was thinking to myself, maybe we should book. Yep. Because when I was in there, when I was checking in, there was a lady that come in. Yeah. And, and she knew who she was. She goes, uh, April 1st, I want 14 days. And she goes, I can't do I it. I can't do it. It has to be exactly 365 days out before I can book it. Well, I think that we should have another camp here booked. Yeah, absolutely. Because I love this place. Yeah, we're probably just going to go ahead and book something while yeah. we're here. We really liked the site that we were on a little further down. Oh, look, there's a Kodiak time. down there. Is there a Kodiak? Oh, that oh, is. Hi. That's one of the older Kodiaks there. One of the older models when they were there, like tan and brown. So Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. Abby loves to <laughs> spot something else whenever I'm I should never have talking a mic to on you guys. Ever. Here's a little shot of the so we're just on one loop right here. This is one loop. And then the further down you go, there's uh there's area all along the riverside. We actually have one of those river sites later in the week because since this site wasn't available for the entire time we wanted, we had to move. So I picked one of those other sites that's on the river further down. It's a shorter site, not as much space, but it's only gonna, we're only gonna be there two or three days. And then that's when we're gonna be leaving to go to the, uh, the other state park, uh, Crater of Diamonds. And I did want to mention that I did a couple of videos here last year. So we've got, I think it was two videos on the trout fishing, two separate uh, videos that we did showing the shore launch and all the fishing. I don't plan on doing that entire video. This time I'm gonna just get some highlights maybe if we uh, get some good catches. But be sure to check the channel because there are videos of the fishing and there's another video of showing the entire campground already so i don't plan on doing that again i just want to focus on what we're doing right here at our campsite we're going to be doing the big barbecue and that's what i want to show here at the bull shoals white river state park so we're going to get to uh some chilling and some grilling very soon we're going to do burgers again tonight abby loved the uh, double cheeseburger so much i'm craving it she now. wants them again oh it was just we, we cook them on the little weber on the grill grates and yep. man they turned out so good didn't they can we do the double cheese, double meat again? We are. Okay. We're going we're gonna to do it again. Double meat, double cheeseburgers. My arteries are going to be screaming, but... That's all right. We're on vacation. I've we're gonna been enjoy doing it. a lot of exercising, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll walk it off. All right. Just about ready to throw the burgers on. We're getting the Weber nice and hot. Thought I would show you this, so in case anybody's wondering how we're doing our burgers. So there's our four ground chuck burger patties. Got those from Walmart. I'm using the Pit Barrel brand beef and game rub. Okay, I just put it in these shakers because that's the way I like to use them right there. And then this is uh, some grapeseed oil right here. I'm going to be putting this on the grill grate. So let me show you the, the little Weber using Kingsford briquettes, just one even layer in the bottom. And then we've got the grill grates flipped upside down. We're going to be using the flat surface. And I'm going to squirt some of that <coughs> grapeseed oil in there, use the uh, spatula there to kind of smooth it out. And then we'll throw the burger patties on there and cook them. So we're just about ready to go. Abby's got the buns already buttered up. And after the, uh, the beef is done, we'll toast those on the grill grates as well. We'll add a little cheese to the burger patties. We like Kraft American slices. It's delicious, good cheese, tastes good. You know, Kraft American slices taste so much better when you don't have somebody in your ear telling you it's not real cheese. It is uh, six o'clock. It's time to get cooking on some dinner. Have I ever answered any other way other than I'm starving? Oh, they can't hear me. You did not put your mic on. Do you want to put your mic on so you can talk uh -huh. during the cut? Mic test, are you on? No, I didn't even turn it on. Oh. Jeez. Party foul, once again. There I am. Is it on? Yeah, and I already started. Might want to go ahead and start the video over just in case it's not taking. Are we ready this time? <laughs> <laughs> That was three takes, and they were all my fault. Just trying to grill a burger. My apologies. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's okay. let's get this started. We already got our grapeseed oil there on the uh, grill grates. Okay. Yes. Yes. God, you love me. You do, don't you? Mm-hmm. 
This is Abby's request. Oh, I'm gonna start my timer. I just like to kind of keep up with my cook. Oh man, now I can already smell that seasoning cooking. My stomach just growled. <laughs> Put the lid back on and let all that smokiness just stay right up in there on those burgers. How long is it gonna be? Not that long. We'll be ready to go in probably 10 minutes. Wonderful. Yep. Almost time to flip the burgers. I wanted to go ahead and plug this book that you can buy here at Bull Shoals White River State Park. This is a camp oven or Dutch oven cookbook, but camp oven. And I bought this last year and it's got a ton of awesome recipes in this book. So I told Abby, I said, I'm gonna buy another one. That way I got two, cause I like to keep one at the house, one in the camper. The other one has this, stuff spilled all over. <laughs> well, and I've <laughs> got- Everything cause we used it so much. Yeah, well, they get used. So you it's got, you know, drips on there, but there's so many great recipes. So actually, you know, the taco stack, it, it, it was derived from a recipe in this oh, book. Now I want that. It was enchilada stack that's in here, but we call it taco stack. But anyway, the Dutch oven cookbook that you can buy right here at this state park, Bull Shoals, White River State Park. As a matter of fact, this was the last one on the shelf and I was like, oh yeah, grab it, grab it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure would, they'll print some more. I would have knocked someone down for it. All right, so we've been going almost six minutes now. Let's go ahead and give our burglars a flip yes look at that crust so i've been joking about one of my fa favorite family guy <laughs> he's <laughs> like, trying to get me to do it <laughs> whenever <laughs> whenever joe's it. grilling he's like y'all come over here and talk to me where i'm grilling <laughs> peter's like oh yeah scoop that one up set it down in the exact same place <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I love it when you do Family Guy. We love Family Guy. That's our favorite show in the whole world. No way, Lois. My new favorite thing in the whole world. Uh, we only just started drinking, everybody. I've only had two. I'm, I know, I'm, just, I'm, I'm on the third right now. We only just started. Yeah, but I just had Huda Brown. That one's eight and a half percent. That one's a good one. That's a good one. Where's hey, your city? We're in the right place to do it, though. We're set up at a camp. This is what we do. Agreed. Show me the good stuff. I just want to check these. Yeah, oh yeah, so that one's, that one's good. They're all good there. Cheese. Yep, time for some cheese. Cheese, please. Do I get extra points for the way that I uh, brought it to you? What is it? Flip it over and move it into the same position that it oh, was. Oh yeah, scoop oh, that yeah. one up and set it down <laughs> in the exact same place. You know, Family Guy. They like to make fun of everything and everybody oh, in no. society, and that's what makes it funny. All right. Yes. This is my favorite part of the whole thing. I um, now you know that I love butter, but not that much butter. <laughs> but also, I love cheese. She is a fan of cheese. I'd rather give up chocolate than cheese. What about she, you? You you would give up chocolate over cheese if you had to make a choice. How would you choose? Um, like which way would you go? I would probably go with chocolate. What? No, no, no. I would keep cheese and ditch the chocolate. Okay, you would choose cheese. Yeah, I want dairy over sweets. Okay, okay, yeah. So this won't take but just a little bit and then you just put the lid back on and the steam and everything gets in there. And I'm gonna go them. get the pickles. Okay, go get the pickles. Alrighty, so let's do this. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, that looks so good. I think I love you more when you're cooking. Is that wrong? I like to cook and I like to eat. So. And you like to cook for other people. So it works. We're gonna scrape this uh, little bit of burnt cheese off of here. Just like that. And then we'll put our buns on here and let them toast for a minute or two. Yep. Just like that, we are almost ready. See how good and easy it can be? It was easy. Our burgers are sliding apart right here. <laughs> See that? Yes. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. Yeah. Okay. All right, our burgers are ready. Abby's gonna go I ahead and give us. The, I gotta do the guy. Gotta get the elbows in the right, the yeah. right place. Yeah. 
Mm. Is it everything you mm -hmm. always wanted in a burger? Mm hmm It's so good. Good, good. Looks like it. Yep, not overdone. We probably should have split this because we're only going to eat half of these, but... Oh, that's you... right, you eat mayo. Ugh. Yeah, I put a little bit of mayo on mine. Abby hates mayonnaise. She thinks it's the <laughs> grossest thing ever. It's it's weird. Sorry. It's made with eggs and oil, but she she loves eggs, but she hates mayo. I told her it mm. adds creaminess to it. A good grilled cheese. Put a little mayo on it, then the cheese. That toasted bun. <sighs> yeah, these are the uh, sweet buns too. The Hawaiian sweet. Uh, mm -hmm. Great. I think it's the Sam's. Great value. Whatever. Man, those are good. So I'm ready to tear into mine, but it looks good. So it's really hard to beat a really good grilled burger, grilled over charcoal, mm -hmm. not gas, out at the campsite. Agreed. They're better when they're at when you're camping. Yeah, the food absolutely. Just, just tastes different. Abby likes pickles. I don't like pickles on my sandwiches. I just like to eat them just out of the jar. But we got a few uh, chips to go with it, and that's it. We're gonna have our burger. We're mm -hmm. gonna enjoy the night. I went ahead and got some uh, firewood from the uh, camp store. We might have a fire tonight. Mm and sit out here and enjoy. Thank so you. hopefully you've enjoyed this part of our little getting to the uh, White River. Uh, we're gonna end this here. I wanna start a new video tomorrow with the barbecue. It's gonna have a little bit of a separate video. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you then. We're gonna get back to our burgers. Oh babe, it's so good, thank you. I'm glad you like it. <laughs>